Welcome into the Perpendicular Mouth. We're back. Violating your host, defecating on the MIC. My name is Zach. His name is Realize. We go hard so you can keep it soft and silky, just like your velveteen rabbit. Oh, yeah. And we have a wonderful show for you as the music goes out, and I'm afraid it just a little bit here. We have a wonderful show for you today, and where we're going to be talking about, we're going to find out what is the greatest root of all time. The greatest root of all time. But before we find out what is the greatest root of all time, we need to hear a word about today's presenting sponsor. Realize. Brother Zach, I'm so glad you asked. Today, and our brand new presented sponsor is Bud Light Seltzer. And this mm -hmm. is a very special Bud Light Seltzer, Brother Zach. This is from their new seasonal holiday sweater pack. It's got four delicious flavors. It's got cranberry, ever heard of it? Apple crisp, peppermint patty, and ginger snap. And you might be thinking to yourself, ginger snap, is that going to be good as a seltzer? Oh, you bet you bip it. You bet you damn bip it. Mm. But like seltzer, it hits the spot. Thank you very much to our presenting sponsor. And maybe that's not the last we hear from Ginger today. Hmm? Mm. Mm. Oh. So let's get into the show. Because the greatest root of all time is a lot of fun. Because there are a lot of fun roots. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but not only are there a lot of fun roots, apparently there are a lot of crap roots. So I don't, roots. I don't know how much time you guys have spent thinking about roots. But uh, what what constitutes a root to you, Zach? Uh, something that is in the ground mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. sprouts something above the ground. Mm -hmm. All right, then fine. O -O 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 -T, R O O T root. Well, there there's there's also root words. The root of a word. The root of a thought. The root of an idea. The root of an equation. Root is actually a lot more complicated than you may think. But when we're going through it. There was some stuff that we're like, you know, this is not a good root. Like, how about hair? Is hair a root? Hair, hair's not a root. Hair's not a root. Hair has a root. Hair has a root. Hair springs from a root. Right. But hair in and of itself is not a root. Disqualified. Get out of here. What about a rutabaga? Are you a big rutabaga fan? No, that's a poop root. It's a poop root. I mean, I can't argue with that. Not to be confused with root beta Ginsburg. That, that's different. R.I.P. Uh, how about a root canal? No one likes those. Root canal is garbage. Root canal is poop freaking root. garbage. A crap root. Poop root. Poop root again. What about uh, bay root? Poop root. Well, actually, I hear bay root's really nice. I don't know anything about bay root, but that's part of the problem. How can you be the greatest root of all time when I don't even know much about it? Like, what's, what's in bay root? Listen, we're we're well. It's the capital of Lebanon. I can tell you that much. All right. They yeah, had I mean, uh, they had a big explosion. That's oh, not good. That was Beirut. That was Beirut. Wow, that was a big ass explosion. Okay, it was a big no. explosion. Not the greatest root of all time. Uh, how about Fruit Loops? I like Fruit Loops. F, F root. For root. Fruit. Not root. a root. Not F a root, root loop. Yeah, F root loop is not really a root. So let's get it out of here, just on principle. Not not a true root. How about Dw Dwight Schrute? He grew roots and was a root. He grew roots? How do you- I think do you so. Mean? Did he have a beet farm? Is it is a beet a root? I don't know. I don't know I what think a beet, beet is. A root. I, not, only do a I beet. Think, not only do I think a beet is a root, but a beet didn't make the cut. So beets are out of here. If you're no, it's, a poop root. Root. it's a poop root. Okay, so Dwight Schrute. So he was Dwight on the office, right? No, not not good enough. Not the greatest root of all time. And then finally, Stephen Root. Who is Stephen Root? Stephen, he's, he's an actor. He's a comedian. He's funny. He, he was the voice of Bill Dotrieff on King of the Hill. And he was the, the smart guy in Dodgeball. And he's played a thousand other little little parts. Older guy, glasses, looks like every character on Trailer Park Boys. Maybe. I, I've never seen Trailer Park Boys. What is that? 
then you're just gonna have to take my word on it. But still, not the greatest route of all time. So with that in mind, why don't we get into what is in the debate to be the greatest route? Now that we got the poop roots out of the way, let's move on to find out what is the greatest route of all time. Greatest route of all time. Thank you, I was hoping you'd do that. So let's start with our playing round. Our playing round, hang on, because there's, okay. There we go, sorry, I was trying to do that. Uh, well, our playing it? round. It's, what? It's, it's been, Brother Zach, it's been a year, man. It's been a, a freaking year since we've done yeah. our show. Like, uh, you know, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. And and if anything, I think we we both decided that this show is kind of a reprieve, right? Away from all the, the, the madness and the drama that's happening out there. First, we had the politics. We weren't really going to get into that. Now we had a whole pandemic since we were doing our show. Still taking effect. Sad. But, but but if anything, this show is a place for the viewer to escape. Is that fair to say? I, I would I would agree with that. This is this is the place where we want to uh, to get away from all of that. Right. So so we're hoping that you, the perps, we know some of you have been with us for a long time now, and we thank you. And then we got new people who are checking out the show or whatever. This is this is a, a place where we just kind of keep it fun and light. We know if you want to get into the news and and the the realities of what's going on. There are definitely better sources for that than us. So back back to the back to the roots. Back to the roots. Our playing round today. Two non-poop roots. Mm. We're talking about vegetables, potato mm. versus carrot. Potatoes versus carrot. Now, now, okay, before before we even get into that, let me just say I don't think a potato is a vegetable. A potato is a starch. I it's a all right. Is there a difference? What's the difference? I, I think I think uh, I, I don't know if a potato has any nutritional value. Potato is like carbs. It has carbohydrates. Carbs. No, no, no. Carbs. Yeah, that's nutritional. It's fuel. But I don't think like I think when I think of vegetables, I think vitamins. Like you're 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 supposed to eat a diet diverse in color because the different colors are your different vegetables and nutrients. Potato ain't got no nutrients to it. Potato is just delicious. In fact, is a potato even a root? Because a potato grows roots. An old ass it egg. Is, it is considered a root, but it is not a root. What the hell? I know a potato can also power a clock. Did you ever do that in like fourth grade? Uh, no. Okay, but I, I don't know how that works. How the hell does that work? You plug in uh, some. You plug a clock in, and then it goes on potato power. How the hell? I, I mean, shouldn't shouldn't we be running more things on potato power? Shouldn't the world run on potato power? We, you know, what? back in the seventies, man, they had cars that ran on water, man. And in the eighties, they came out with cars that ran on potatoes, man. But the government keeps that down. Those sound like the most delicious cars. I, I, I think you're full of shit, but it still sounds like a great idea. Potatoes are cheap and seem like easy to grow. Unless you're Ireland, which kind of pisses me off. The whole potato farming thing, potato famine, makes me mad because it's like, uh, I mean, they're right next to the, well, I don't know how close Ireland is to the actual oceans, but you could think, like, couldn't they have fished? Like, why, why isn't fishing a bigger thing in Ireland? Did you say you don't know how close Ireland is to the oceans? Well, it's an island, but, like, just because yeah. you're on an island doesn't mean, like, everybody is right next to the, the water, you know? Like, if you're in the center... Like Australia is an island, but no one lives in the middle but the Aborigines. Well, technically everything's an island if you want to consider that it's everything surrounded by water. Hold up. No. Did I just blow your mind? No, I, I, I refuse that. I think there's a size, there's definitely a size uh, constraint to what constitutes an island. You can't no, just be but, like, but listen, island. an island is, is a body Africa? of land surrounded by water, correct? So you're saying the island of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because no, because Africa is not in itself an island because it's not surrounded because Africa connects to Europe and connects to Asia. So the continents oh, of Europe, Asia and Africa are one island. That's an island. <laughs> so when, when everything was connected is Pangea, it was the island of Pangea. Yeah, the island of Pangea. <laughs> All right. OK, back to potatoes, potatoes and carrots. I want to know, for obviously, look, I'm not even going to get if, if, if potato is a root, potato beats carrots. Potatoes are potato chips, 
French fries, freedom fries if you're nasty, uh, mashed potatoes, tater tots, uh, baked potato, all kind of potato. Potatoes are great. Potatoes are fucking wonderful. Sweet potato is another type of potato. I don't even know if sweet potato and potato are the same, but the potato says potato right in the name. Red potato, all that. Obviously, it's better than carrot. The question is, is it an actual root? Because it grows roots. A carrot doesn't grow roots, does it? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think it's an actual root. I don't think a potato is a root. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to right. ask the producer if the potato is a root, and yep. we're going to find out. As you should. Is the potato a root? According to the conversation, many people think of potatoes as root vegetables because they grow underground like carrots, parsnips, and other root crops. There but in go. actual fact, they are a type of modified stem known as a tuber. They're, they're tubers. What the hell's a tuber? A potato is a tuber. Wait, like in band, you played a tuber? Yes. If you, you, you walk around the football field and you play, you hug, uh, lug around your tuber, and then you eat it for dinner. Okay, well, that's not a root. It's a tuber. It, it said it's a modified stem. I'm assuming when the stem comes down and then it goes root, and then it becomes a tuber? Ask, ask the producer if a carrot is a root. They, they said root vegetable like carrots and parsnips. Parsnip's not the greatest root of all time. Parsnip, parsnip is a poop root. Poop root. Is the carrot a root? According to Wikipedia, the carrot, Dacus carota subspe, sativus, is a root vegetable, usually orange in color, though purple, black, red, white, and yellow cultivars exist. Let okay. me ask you this. Let yeah. me ask. Uh, we we we, we got We got to touch on this real quick. Would you eat a purple carrot? I was just about to ask. I I think I love a purple carrot. I love a purple carrot. I don't. I don't know. It's it, it's like it's like green ketchup. You, you can't you can't eat no, green I've ketchup. Had, I've had a cooked purple carrot, and, and it wasn't too soft. It was cooked perfectly. It was delicious. It had a different taste to it. I can't even explain it. Purple carrot's delicious. The one that. What about a milk, black carrot? I'd eat a black carrot. The only one I'm weird, and I've never had a black carrot, but I would eat a black carrot. The only one I'm weirded out by is a white carrot. That seems unnatural. That's an albino carrot. And that seems racist to me. I don't know why you'd be okay with the rest of them, but not that one. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something else about carrots. Do you like baby carrots? Uh, yeah, I like carrots. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you something about baby carrots. You know, those aren't children carrots. Those These aren't are carrots. They're, they're the reject carrots. They're, yeah, reject. they're just cut up because they look weird. They're the ugly carrots. They're the carrots that people were like, no one's going to eat this carrot. It probably had funk on it and weirdness. And they said, let's yeah. shave this bitch down and, and make it look cute into a little nub. But the, And you yeah. know what? I like it. I like it. But uh, it's unnatural. Have, so, have you ever been to a baby carrot factory? It's just, it's just a line of lathes, man. They put carrots on lathes, and it's just people just – Whittling down carrots, whittling down carrots to get it off and send it down the line. What did you say you put them on? Lathes. What the what the hell is a lathe? Well, you know, okay. If if you don't know what a lathe is, you won't get my joke. A lathe? A lathe. It's a it's a big machine that you that you attach like a piece of wood. Like think think of it as a wood lathe. You'd attach a piece of wood in between and you hold it. Like and then and then what you do is you turn on and it spins and you use a little whittling tool and you and you buzz it down. You create like table legs and that kind of thing. Right, baseball baseball bats. Right? Yeah, sure. Why not? You could. All right. Okay. Well, hey, let's get back to to at hand. Okay, so a carrot's an actual root. Now they said a potato is largely considered a root, but it might be a uh, what do they call it? A tuber. A tuber. But no one says tuber. You ever this heard isn't of the greatest tuber of all time, though. But no one calls it a tuber. There's no tuber. There's no tuber. Uh, you know, grouping. No one says, "Hey, you want some tuber?" No. As far as I'm concerned, a potato is a root. My mama called it a root. I'm gonna call it a root. But potato. but it can't be the greatest root of all time if it's a tuber. Shouldn't you, shouldn't I'm, in the playing round? Shouldn't the one that goes forward be an actual root vegetable? All right, fine. I'm not saying carrots aren't delicious. I'm just saying they're tubers. Potatoes. All right, so there's that. 
So that's the first one. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. And uh, so, Eric, what's that? You say tuber, I say potato. Let's tuber. Uh, all right. So, Carrot's going to move on and it's going to face the next round a very, very uh, formidable opponent. Okay, what do you got? Root beer. Oh. Carrot versus root beer. Now, I don't think that root beer is made from actual roots, but I could be wrong because I have no idea what's in root beer. It's got to be made from root beer. Why would you call it root beer if it wasn't made from root? Ask, ask her. I think it's the roots of all beer. You know what I mean? No. Like, like be, before they made Budweiser, they made root beer, and they're like, they're like, this is it. Someday we're gonna make Budweiser, but today's not that day. No, no, that's dumb. That's nope. dumb. Okay. I think well, in that case, let me ask the producer. Yeah. Are there roots in root beer? Here's a summary from McGill University. The root in root beer is sassafras. <gasps> sassafras and sarsaparilla were traditionally used along with Ooh. other substances like licorice root, mint, nutmeg, and more to flavor root beer. Okay. I, I, I think we're missing a lot of roots. Sarsaparilla. No, no, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that sassafras was a root. First off, don't give me no sassafras, okay? I'm telling you right now, sarsaparilla is a delicious, but licorice root has no business being in this conversation at all. Licorice. I love isn't licorice. Your mouth, your mouth is a lie and wrong. Your mouth is is uh, offensive to me because you like things that are gross. Licorice cannot be the greatest root of all time. Are you insane? Are you crazy? It could be. It's used in a lot of things like root beer. No. It, but I'm just saying, it's mainly sassafras and sarsaparilla. Root beer is delicious. I love root beer. Are you a big root beer guy? I like root beer. You know what? You know what's better than root beer? A good sarsaparilla. Okay, I, I like a good sarsaparilla too. Now, uh, I, now I think it's I think it's fair for for purposes of this to include sarsaparilla and root beer in the same category. What's the difference? Would that be fair? Well, what's the difference between the sarsaparilla? As, well, as they're, they're different. Root beer is root beer. And sarsaparilla is sarsaparilla. Okay, but can't you can't just say the greatest root of all time, sarsaparilla. The greatest root of all time might be root beer because it's right there in the name, root beer. That's, root well, that's beer. that's why it's in here. That's why it's in. Here. First of all, just because it, just because it has some root in it, just because it has sassafras in it, doesn't mean that it's a root. Sassafras is the root, not sarsaparilla. What the hell is a sassafras? It's a root. Tell me more. Ask the producer. What the hell is a oh. sassafras? You know, you know what the, you know what this show <laughs> you know what this show has become. Let's no, ask Google this shit and figure yeah. out what's going on. That's how we learn. What is sassafras? Doesn't oh. even know. Uh oh, <laughs> he doesn't even know. What is sassafras? You broke it. You broke it. Is sassafras a root? Huh? According to our X list, sassafras is a plant. The root bark is used to make medicine. A bark. Yeah. So uh, you, you know you got you got to ask it a question because uh, no. right. yeah, and then then it'll answer you. Look, root root beer, great. What's your favorite beer? I, I like uh, I I I have C. I I. Uh, I yeah uh, yeah I actually would be, yeah uh, that's okay. Barks is good. Uh, I think you got to go with the original though. A and W, right? Like when you were a kid, did you ever go to the A and W root beer root yeah. beer stand? Uh, yeah, they make floats and stuff. You got it right. Yeah, you get the floats. You get a burger. You, that, yeah. It's got to be the original, right? It's good. A and W is good. I like those bottles though that the IFC or whatever came in. I also like cream yeah. soda. Not a root, but I also like cream soda. Root beer kind have of. Have you ever had a cream? Have you ever had a cream soda float? No. That sounds Not amazing. Bad. Not bad. It's good that, stuff. That sounds amazing. Look, mm -hmm. I'm not, not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Oh, snap. You know what? I was looking at the wrong thing. Apparently, we've had a lot of comments that I've been uh, oh. ignoring so far. Yeah, but, this, uh, this whole new we, – we, we use B Live and this whole new B Live uh, setup. Not good. I can't see you. You're You're like this big on the screen, and I can't see the screen to begin with. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm just saying, people people are talking smack. Well, <laughs> people need a dick. Yeah, I'm dying. Why why you gotta be so aggressive about it? Hey, the, hey, I just call it as I see it. All right, fine. So well, let's just get back to business. Look, 
Root beer or carrot? Root, root beer, beer right? carrot? Like, dude, no question, it's yeah. root beer. Like if, if 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 I have a hankering, uh -huh. I might I might reach for a carrot. And they're okay. They're they're good healthy snacks. They help my eyes. You know that's why I can't see the screen because I didn't eat enough carrots. But I'm more likely to go for a root beer, a sarsaparilla cream soda. I'll tell you what. If you eat too many carrots, you'll turn orange. If you drink too much root beer, you know what happens? Delicious. Just deliciousness. That's it. Obviously. There you go. That's it. All right. Root mm -hmm. beer carries on. I gotta cross this out now. And root beer goes I'm on to. Uh, does this sound familiar? Face ginger root. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Not to be confused with ginger spice. That's right. That's right. Totally different ginger. I'm glad yeah, you. Or made ginger it. people, for that matter. No, you. Made, it's a fact. Now, uh, ginger. Someone says, "Dang, Eliza needs a haircut." I'd be looking like Karen. Your mama look like Karen. Your mama mm -hmm. look like Karen. Well, you did before we got on here. In full disclosure, you did ask to speak to my manager. Look, man, it's been I've been in quarantine and stuff. Yeah, I got a little long. What your problem is? Mind your business. Mind your business. You come here to learn about roots. You don't come here to criticize uh, our grooming. And Zach's wearing a hat. You don't even know what his hair looks like. What your problem is? It's very long. There you go. There you go. Okay. So uh, I'm out here looking like David Bowie. Hey, ginger, ginger root. I I I drink ginger five days out of the week. In a tonic. Can I tell you about my tonic? I make a vitality tonic. Uh oh. You know? Yeah, I make a vitality tonic. Here, here, right, right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, the base of it, I take some uh, lemon ginger echinacea juice. It's by some company called like Mother Earth. So it's like a little lemon juice, ginger juice, I'm guessing, is in there. Uh, and, and echinacea. You cut your hair, mofo. They're trying to talk smack about my hair. You cut your hair, mofo. Okay. Uh, then I put a little cayenne pepper in there. I put a little turmeric in there. Okay. That's why if you haven't noticed, I changed my name online to turmeric lizer. Okay. Cause I'm about that big term, that turmeric life. Uh, you put some, uh, honey, apple cider vinegar up in there. Just a smidge, just a smidge. And then you fill it up with, uh, alkaline water. And then I put a five-hour energy shot in there just for flavor. That's good stuff, man. Way better than if you're doing those those uh, canned canned energy drinks. That's bad for you. That's soda. This good to keep the yang up. But what what does it what does it do? Like what what do any of those things do? I'll tell you. I have well, which part? The ginger is like good. All of it. It's your immune system. I haven't got yeah, no ginger. I, okay, ginger's all right, but I like what can you not get from like drink, like taking a, a multivitamin? No, no, no. I do that too, but I think it's just a, a, a it, it, it's an immunity builder. I think this helps your immune system be strong in your gut biome and all that, so then you don't got to get no uh, coronas. You, you, you know what it seems like to me? It seems like over the course of the last several months during the quarantine. Yes. You've grown out your hair. You started making weird concoctions. I you make full blown. You went full blown hippie. No, you think I'm a hippie? Get out of are here! Are you wearing Are you wearing Birkenstocks right this moment? Hell no! Look at this. Church socks, baby. I can't Church. see it. Well, I can't see it. You're, you're this big on my screen. Don't show me anything. I can't see anything. I showed I showed the viewer. I got church socks on. Do hippies go to church? I don't think so. They go to like you go to the Ooh. church of the flying spaghetti monster. Well, I'm just saying, totally different thing. But ginger is good. How about, you ever had a little, uh, you ever been to Yeshanoya? You no, been to Yeshanoya? I, no. Yeshanoya is good. They got, uh, you, it's like you get a beef bowl or a chicken bowl on rice with some teriyaki sauce. and some oh, I, I like a, yeah, I like, I like a beef bowl and a chicken bowl. Oh, wait, I tell you, they put some ginger on it though sometimes. Let's kick it up a notch. Oh, kick listen, listen I, I, I don't mind ginger. I, I like the like the you know like a ginger nice uh nice ginger soup or something you know something you put some ginger in there and uh, yeah I I got, I got nothing wrong ginger salad I like a ginger salad. The hell, what is it? I ginger like ginger. Salad? I like ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ginger ale versus root beer. I do not like ginger beer. I not like good. it. It's not I good. Like, like Moscow Mule. Have you ever had a Moscow Mule? Oh uh, yeah, I had a Moscow Mule. What do you think? Not great. Not great. No. My wife loves them. Not great. 
your mouth again. Your mouth is wrong. Your mouth is wrong, okay? Because a Moscow Mule is delicious. It comes in like that gold cup. It's like the only thing that comes in a gold cup. That's Come. weird. But I like it. Come. You walk around, conversation starter. Listen, I don't want any drink that I have to give my driver's license as a down payment to hold on so I don't steal their copper cup. Hmm. All right. Touche. Touche. I don't want to have to give my driver's license for a drink. That's a fact. Uh, but Because they don't trust you enough to not steal their copper cup. Come on, man. Uh, okay. All right. No, you're making some good points. What about the ginger? You like sushi? I bet you don't because it tastes good. And then you get sushi. Sometimes they give you a, a little piece of ginger on the side with the wasabi and the soy sauce, and you put it right on top. Right on top of the sushi. That's how Americans do it. I think it's supposed to be a palate cleanser between the sushis. Nobody does that except the Japanese. Not good. The ginger? Which part? So you don't even like ginger. Not good. You're not even about that ginger life. Sushi's what? not good. Oh my. Wasabi. God. Wasabi. Not good. Eh, I mean. Debatable. Wasabi is spicy. It's okay. Ginger is the best. Ginger is the best part of all of that, but it's it's not as good as root beer. Ginger is not the best part of sushi. Are you insane? You're the, crazy. The, the best. The best. No, no. I, I'm I'm saying the best thing out of all the things you mentioned. I'm not saying ginger is the best part of sushi. I'm saying I'm okay. saying out of all the things you mentioned, the thing that's that's good on itself is ginger. But the best yeah. the best thing about ginger, best thing I can say about ginger, is when uh -huh. you go on a plane, ginger mm -hmm. ale is just the best thing to have. That's the best and thing it, I can say about ginger. And it settles your stomach. Like if you have like upset tummy, ginger ale is good. It, it, I think it used to be medicinal until they had like real medicine. And then they're like, hey, why don't you take some real ass medicine? And it's much better. All right. We, we, we're, we're, we're lingering on all these topics. We, we got to We got to We got to keep our, uh, our show like, like our women type 45. So 45. let's move on very quickly. And okay. I'm just going to end it with this. And you're going to tell me whether or not I'm right and which uh -huh. one wins. Okay. Okay. The reason I don't think Ginger should win because Ginger less than Marianne. Just saying. Yeah, I disagree. I like Ginger better than Marianne too. Mm. I don't There's want no the girl next taste door. Supposed to. If I wanted the girl next door, you know what I'd do? I'd go next door. I want the. <laughs> the Ginger was the Hollywood starlet. She was like the Marilyn Monroe of fantasy of uh, of Gilligan's Island. She was also trying to manipulate everyone all the time. She'd oh, come she in and try to seduce them with her feather boa. Come on, man. Excellent. Excellent. There's only so long in life where you can get the starlet Punani, you know? And whoever you are in the comments saying Ginger was a hoe bag, you're wrong, okay? No, Ginger they're was right. not a hoe bag. She was. They're she right. Was See, See like, like I said earlier, the viewers are the best. Oh, I mean, look, root look, beer. I'm going to leave it to you. Ginger or root beer? We got to move on. I like root beer. I like root beer. Like root root beer. beer it is. And root beer will move along because it's uh, going to go up against grassroots. Okay, well, you're going to have to explain to me, like, what exactly, are we talking about that 311 album? Because if so, we can just move right along. No, I, I, don't, I don't think 311. Well, I, I mean, grass, like, actual physical grass has roots. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not 311. Uh, I assume, is this grassroots campaigning and, like, grassroots movements? Right. Is that grassroots? I put it down I, as one word. I think that's what grassroots is. It's more like a campaign from the ground up like like uh black lives matter might have been a grassroots movement mm -hmm. i think so we got facebook users saying we messed up the ginger look man whoever you are saying that it should have been ginger over root beer why didn't you chime in earlier you're out of here mm -hmm. all right get out of here okay the problem is and for the record that was lizer i i left it to him just remember that please please per please but uh, a grassroots is, is a movement that starts with the people. It's not started by, you know, corporations. It's not started by big business. It starts at the bottom from, from the people, you know? Yeah. That's this important. is Bernie Sanders' favorite word. Grassroots? No. I think all the, the uh, fuel the burn stuff, that's not grassroots. Grassroots means literally like Black Lives Matter is grassroots. 
It's something that starts organically amongst the people. It's not a politician down. It's not a leader but down. But that's it's what he loved up. to use as his favorite word, his second favorite word. First, first favorite word is 1%. The top 1% of the top 1% of our grassroots movement. I, I, I bet he has words that he prefers that we don't even hear him say on TV. Like, I bet he likes... Like 1%? Corn beef sandwich, corn beef sandwich. Like I think Bernie Sanders would probably like some words that we don't even know that he. Used. I don't. I don't. He. I don't see him as a corn beef sandwich guy. I see him as like soup and a half sandwich. Oh, oh, I do a soup and a half a corn beef sandwich. How about that? Can we can we agree on that? A half a corn yeah. beef sandwich. T -t -t Tomato soup? No, not corn beef, man. He's he's not a corn beef guy. I Come bet on. you Bernie loves corn beef. He's a hippie from. He's a hippie from Vermont. He he has like a like a. Like a soy sandwich that he dips in his tomato sauce, yeah. his tomato soup. Get out of here with a soy sandwich. No one eats soy, soy sandwich. sandwich. Soy no bean one, sandwich. No one wants that. No one wants a damn soybean sandwich. Not even the damn veggies want a soybean sandwich. What's your problem is? Okay. So grassroots is a movement. Root beer is a delicious drink. Uh, I, I, I want root beer. If you have, to, if I have to lose one grassroots movements or root beer, I'd rather be able to order root beer. I don't, I like root beer more than Coke. Can I say that? I prefer root mm. beer to Coke. That's uh, that's that's controversial, man. Are you that sure you want to take that stand? I I would, and I'll take it further. I like Pepsi more than Coke. How about that? Oh, I like Pepsi more than Coke because it's better. There you go. Yeah. All right. Pepsi wins. What, what, what's root beer going up against? All right, are we agreeing that root beer is better than grassroots? I think so. Yeah, you're All right, right. All right. Uh, I, I already did the horn. I'm not going to do it again. All right, so this one's a little bit tougher because now root beer has to go up against the roots, the band, the roots. Oh yeah, that is tougher. Okay, that's tough. The roots. Now they now they're they're like Jimmy Fallon's band now, right? I, I don't oh, watch Jimmy Fallon. Now, but I, I don't. I don't think of them. It, only, only like, uh, like really lame parents and 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 some boomers would really consider the Roots Jimmy Fallon's band. Like that's not who they are. Um, no. Uh, can I just talk about something real quick too? I'm gonna go off on a tangent about this new this new. Uh, be live thing that we have set up they flipped us i just realized i used to be on the right side and you were on the left and now we're on different sides I, I are you know sure i'm pretty sure i think they flipped what if us. you're what? looking at a mirror image what if you're looking at your selfie side i don't know i don't know man i don't know how i feel about this oh well okay anyways um the roots though uh quest love amazing drummer uh black thought one of the most underrated MCs in hip hop. Like, honestly, I'd say he's, if not top five, he's like definitely like top seven MCs in hip hop. And he doesn't get enough love at all, at all, at all. Um, like he's better than Jay-Z. He, he doesn't have the catalog that Jay-Z has, but he's a better rapper than Jay-Z. I don't, I don't put Jay-Z in my top 10, so I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, uh, he's as good of a rapper as Biggie, which means he's as good of a rapper as Tupac. You're just um, you're just going controversial take after controversial take. That's what I'm saying. He might be top five. Uh, the the most recent song where where you could hear him and he just like kills it. Uh, man, I'd have to find. Oh, he dropped his own album. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a Black Thought album out there on all the streaming services that just came out this year. And uh, he's great, man. He's, he's amazing. The Roots are great. Uh, in fact, The Roots are better than Root Beer. Yeah. And quite love, like, as a drummer, he's just, and he's dope. Like, that's the only thing. And, and I think they've had, like, an out, out gay guitarist for like a decade where in hip hop um that's not okay in hip hop 
a lot of right like like you know they, they want you to be like hyper masculine they've had a guy who's just like he's been like out gay and they're like fuck you he's our guitarist he's great it's never been as good yeah i said it as good as biggie whoever's you know in, in the comments i said it i'm saying black thought is like amazing black thought's top five i just talked myself into it he's top five he might be five but he's definitely top five uh and the fact that they just like you know that there's a song um I would name her rock and roll. Like if I had a baby, I would name her rock and roll. The singing on that song is all the guitarists, the, the gay guitarists. They're, they're great. And the fact that they crossed over and now they're a mainstream and getting checks, psh, the roots, roots better than root beer. I'll drink Pepsi. I'll drink Pepsi. <laughs> I, I root. would like to drink a Pepsi and a root beer while listening to the roots. And I agree. I think the roots is a better root. Yeah. Than the root beer. So yeah. now that you've given all these controversial takes, and we will have to do uh, the greatest MC of all time probably next time. Uh, <laughs> That'll be a whole thing. That'll be a whole thing. And hey, we gotta we gotta get a top ten in the playing. Uh, all right. And and I don't want to hear any crying from anybody in the in the comments when Jay Z is not in the top ten. Yeah. All right. So the roots goes on to face root chakra. Now, I don't know oh. what the hell root chakra is. You tell okay. me what root chakra is. Okay, okay. So what do you what do you know about the chakras at all? You've heard of chakras, right, in general? Like, you have, have you ever heard people it? People refer to chakras. Uh, I know that they are a made-up thing. Okay, no. Okay, so check this out. So chakras came from Hinduism. Essentially, they said, think of it as this. Uh, a human being is comprised of a lot of different attributes. So the chakras, beyond them representing points in the body that absorb light. So when they talk about enlightenment, they're saying we're 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 beings that absorb the light, the sunlight, and you know can can reflect that light. Or we have darkness in us that blocks it. Okay. The root chakra is the basis of all the rest, and it's a. Uh, it's the way we correspond to the earth. So essentially, uh, diet, exercise, rest, not putting poison in your body, i.e. drugs and alcohol. That's, that's your root chakra when you're, when you're not taking care of yourself, you are, that's a chakra blocker. Okay. But it's, that's the basis of everything else. And how about your chakras? So it's literally just proper taking proper health, diet, exercise, rest, not doing drugs and alcohol. That's the root shot. Now, when I said they're a made up thing, you said, oh no, 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 it's not made up. And then he kept going on about how they are kind of a made up thing. Can, no, where's no. my chakra? Can you point to it? Uh, where's your chakra? Point, well, point to your root chakra. No, no, it's, it's throughout you. Stand your, up root, on the camera, root point root to your root chakra. If, if I stood up right now, I'm not wearing any drawers. It, 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 you would see, you would only see my sacred chakra if I stood is up. That right your, now. Is that your root chakra? No, that's my sacred chakra. My sacred mm -hmm. chakra is my junk. Okay, so let's go through chakras real quick. Okay, just to kind no, of let's not. really, are you going to go? I mean, we 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 got a type 45 going here. You want to go okay. through all the chakras? Mm -hmm. We got we got five minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Though, the root chakra is is the basis. Everything else is built on. It's 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 physical health. All right. So essentially, when we're comparing the roots versus root chakra, man, I would have to let you call it because uh, and I'd have to go with I'd have to go with the roots because the root chakra is not a real thing. No, it's more esoteric, though. I would say someone someone in the comments said chakra will always win. And I'm kind of with them. But because it is so esoteric. It's hard to convey that to a lot of non-spiritual people, at least within a type 45. Someone said they want to see my sacred chakra. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have to check my only fans, baby. Hey, do you know the only thing I know about the chakra? What's that? <laughs> That's a chakra. That's a little bit different. All right. The roots, the roots, the roots is on fire. And it's right. now going to go up against, uh, oh, another root, the square root. 
Okay. The square root. Okay. So I'm going to be totally honest with you here. A square root is, is that when you break a number down to its like smallest form? So like, for example, I don't know, like, like 81, the square root of 81 is nine. Is that what it means? Yeah. Yeah, the square root is the number divisible or uh, multiplied by itself. So, like it, a number squared, like so, like nine squared is eighty-one. So, the square root of eighty-one is nine. Okay, so it's the smallest form. <laughs> In the comment section, uh, the user that said they want to see my sacred chakra, it's shoe. It goes, it's shoe. I want to see the fact that you're telling me who you are doesn't <laughs> make me want to show you my junk anymore, brother. Like, it ain't no, that he's, he's telling you, see, so, he's telling you, so you can you can direct message him later. We got you, shoe. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll send you some sweet chakra pics after the show. Yeah, in, in my DM, I'll send you, send you my, which, which, by the way, corresponds to orange, orange spectrum of light, if you're curious about the sacred chakra, Zach. No, I'm not. There you go. Okay, so um, square root, just the smallest, the smallest divisible number. That's not better than the roots. But what's the point of that? Like, as far as like Ma mathematics, man, you can yeah. you can have mathematics without the square root. You can do geometry or trigonometry or or uh, calculus. You can do any of that without the square root. I, I couldn't do sacred geometry without the square root. You could you can you can do uh, you can do uh, um, what's what's uh, what are you doing this uh, astronomy you can do astronomy without square roots. Okay. Okay. Um, I like all that stuff, but um, for for the purpose of this show, the roots. I'm giving it to the roots because the other one is is for nerds. That's nerd shit. <laughs> Just like you don't want to hear about the sacred chakra because it's made up. I don't want nerd shit. That's right. I for, I forgot we're we're big masculine men. We don't we don't do nerd shit. All right, let's move on because the yeah. roots is now going to do something super manly. Going to go up against something super manly, and that okay. is Groot. Okay. G root Groot. Okay. <laughs> you know what's so funny? We just said we don't want to do nerd shit, and here I am going to back a comic book character for like two minutes, like so hard. Let me stump. For a uh, comic book, um, I am Groot. The Guardians of the Galaxy was my favorite comic book. So long, or or like uh, ensemble within the comics for years before that movie came out and the Marvel universe like made them mainstream. And I would just explain to people, I'm like, they got like a badass. He's like a little raccoon, and he's got like all these crazy guns. And then there's a tree man, and all they can say is, "I am Groot." And then there's like a, a a dude. His whole his whole thing is like his alien. He kicks ass, and his whole entire purpose is to kill. Um, uh, what's his face? What's the guy's name? Who was the Avengers? The bad guy. You know the guy, Thanos. His whole purpose is to kill Thanos, and they have this chick. She's the most badass warrior in the universe. And then Peter Quill, and he's just like an everyman. And it was awesome. Like it was like this like rando 70s pulp space opera stuff. And it was just so fun. And uh it came out into Marvel, and then Groot became a whole thing. It made Baby Groot. Baby Groot was like the original cute weird dork thing before the original baby. baby Yoda. He was the original. Well actually the original is fucking uh what's the Mogwai? Gizmo. Uh the Gizmo. Well yeah there's Gizmo but I guess there's also the Muppet Babies too. Muppet Babies were cartoon though. They they didn't have like uh what do you call it? Uh I guess Muppet. <laughs> they didn't have puppet Muppet babies, you know? But well, the, uh, Muppets, the Muppets had sex and had Muppet babies. That's how it works. Do oh, I need to explain to you about the, the Muppet birds and bees? Oh, hell, well, uh, yeah, actually, I wouldn't mind hearing that. Go on. Oh, we'll do it after the show. We're on a type 45. Okay. So I, uh, I, now it's a type 46. I honestly think Muppet sex is literally just when the puppeteer like works, <laughs> works the mouth on the back. Like, I think that's, it's, that's it's, Muppet sex. <laughs> it's, and, it's, it's probably some Team America yeah, shit, I would think. You got the two sticks, and they're like, "Yeah, you like that, don't you?" And they're like, "Oh, oh, oh. Kermit's like, oh." <laughs> so, but uh, 
Groot's not the greatest root of all time. No, he's not better. Okay. Well, we could have we could have just started with that. All right. Well, I wanted to go off. There we go. go. All right. So uh, the roots, wow, the roots are still going, right? We're still in the roots. Yeah, look at that. The roots is uh, going. Uh oh. All right. This is this this one's gonna be tough. Uh, well, it's it's the same name. It's the roots going up against roots, the miniseries. Oh wow. Roots and roots. We're doing the roots versus roots. Roots. The versus difference being the my name the roots and then roots. My name is Kunta Kinte. Your name is Toby. Yes. My name is Kunta Kinte. Your name is Toby. That's what I remember from that. Yes. Uh, I LeVar I, Burton is Kunta Kinte. LeVar Burton. Nice. Who also, I think LeVar Burton should take over as the new host of Jeopardy. How do you feel about that? Mm, he's more about reading. That's his deal. So he's he, he's into literacy and reading. So not so much trivia. Uh, oh, I, wouldn't hate, I love LeVar Burton, but he, like, he's, a, he's a reading guy. That uh, Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune are like the best jobs in Hollywood. You work one day a week and you make like $20 million. They record well, every show. Well, yeah. Here's, here's what I'll say. I will say I don't think they should continue Jeopardy. I think okay. Jeopardy needs to be retired, and they need to come up with a new show called like Super Quiz Show, and it's the exact same thing, but it's not Jeopardy. So you're okay with it because what if what if he calls it uh, instead of reading Rainbow, it was like questioning uh, Star Bridge, and it was Jeopardy, starring Levar Burton. But then it's not about reading. Well, shit. I would flip my whole damn computer over if I didn't think it would be a problem. All right, then fine. All right, well, fine. You know, they're not all winners, Zach. All right? Questioning Starbridge didn't make the cut. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's, you know, I, I see where you were going. Mm -hmm. but, I uh, but Roots, the miniseries versus The Roots. Look, I'm super excited about uh, the roots. I think the roots are a great root, potentially the greatest root of all time. Roots, the miniseries, was was important because I remember just being like ten or younger, and it just came on like Channel Seven, <laughs> and all of a sudden we're like slavery. We're like this is what you know. This is what America was. And I was like, damn, this is a lot for my little brain to learn about all of a sudden. Like, we didn't know what it was going to be. We were watching LeVar Burton getting whipped. We are watching Slave Masters and all that. It was intense. It was important. Um, but since there have been other films and books and seminal works that have delved into that subject matter, not necessarily better, but uh, in a more succinct way where I don't think we have to view Roots, the miniseries, as the greatest. But Roots, the miniseries, you're, you're talking about like specific content, or but talk about the, the, the impact that it had. Because Roots was before my time. Uh, I, it was before really cable. Uh, I, I think cable was around, but it was, you know, it was during the time of, of network supremacy. So when it yeah. came on, everybody watched Roots, and it was the talk of you know, is I, I think to that point, it was the the most watched miniseries of all time, kind of thing, and you know, it had a profound impact on the way people viewed that and the discussion, how they started talking about slavery and the role of Black America and those sorts of things, and you know, it had a huge impact. I actually just saw something on this recently where they were you know, the the impacts that that Roots the miniseries had on the general population. Um, now I'm not going to say it, you know, moved the needle and changed much, but perhaps it started a conversation 40 years oh, ago. Oh, absolutely. It absolutely, it absolutely uh, started a conversation, I would say, in white America, you know, where it wasn't really, you know, as ignored. But, it, but in 1976 or whatever, it was white America. Wait like, a minute. You know, there, there, there wasn't another America. 
Well, let, let me just be clear about something. I was not 10 in 1976. I was negative uh, three. Yeah. I don't know when no. it actually came out. It was, it, it was, it was uh, when was Roots the miniseries released? I thought it was like 1985. The air date of the first episode of Roots was January 23rd, 1977. So wow. I, you were you were about 10. <laughs> no. So in that case, in that case, I must have seen them. They must have played it again in the 80s. I'm, I'm sure it got replayed. Yeah, because I started being a kid and I was like, whoa, this is heavy, heavy stuff. Mom yeah. and dad probably shouldn't just let me watch whatever I want. <laughs> now, <laughs> if you if you want to talk about, you know, what's had the biggest impact on your life, it's probably Roots. If you want to talk about what's had the biggest impact on the American culture, it's probably Roots the miniseries. But I will leave it to you as to determine which is the greatest Roots of all time. Well, this our, our whole show isn't about the most important root of all time. It's about the greatest. And if we're talking about the greatest, then it's the roots, baby. The roots. All right. The roots goes on. Sorry, our apologies to LeVar Burton. Uh, but uh, it's going to move on. And finally, we're down to our last one. We were going for a tight 45. So far, we're at a tight 52. Could be worse. Fuck so right. okay, it, Jordy. Hey, the roots are going up against the rooting instinct. Now, <laughs> It's not the instinct to root for your own baseball team, to root for the Dodgers to finally win a World Series and stop whining Ooh. about uh, the Astros. This isn't about rooting for Thank Tom you. Brady. This is about this is about life nectar. Life nectar. This is about this is about being a, just just a little baby, a little infant, just just a baby, just just out of your mama's tummy, and mm. you just you don't know how to eat. You can't have a steak. You can't just go and order a burger. No. You gotta you gotta kinda root around. You gotta kinda root around and you gotta find the life-giving nectar from your mother's breast. Is this rooting That's like, rooting instinct. Like you're just like your 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 mouth your mouth is searching for a place to suckle. Is that what this is? The rooting instinct? It's, it's more of just the the innate instinct to latch on and to understand that you need to do that. So like like imagine like you know, like a uh a baby, you put the baby, the baby's not going to crawl around and, and go get it because the baby can't crawl around. So you got to put the baby there and the baby's going to latch on. The same way with like a, you know, have you ever, have you ever seen like kittens? You know, yeah. they lay there and they like, they kind of like crawl around, crawl over each other and then, you know, and then they get on. That's, you know, they, they got, they got that instinct to go and get that mother's milk. It's trying to find a place to suckle. Mm-hmm. Well, so it's, it's, it's just, it's just, it's getting the, yeah, it's, it's suckling. Well, can't you just take a baby and, I mean, because they're small and light when they're first born, just pick it up and just stick it right on the titty? That, well, that's what you do, but the baby wouldn't know what to do. You could do that, and the baby's just going to go, oh, okay, now what? Oh, and be, and because it has a but rooting instinct. to latch instinct. on. That's the rooting but it, instinct. It, but it has the instinct to latch on, and that's what gives it life. Otherwise, you'd have to, like, dump it down the baby's throat. Whoa. Think Whoa. about that. I don't want to. Uh, which is greater? This, giving is, this life, is a life-giving instinct right. to suckle on breasts. Yeah. Not to be confused with men later on in life. That's a totally different instinct. It, 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 does, it, does, life. Life. it gives, it gives yeah. you life. The yeah. rooting instinct to suckle on breasts versus the roots. Well, shit, it's no contest. The root. The roots, baby. <laughs> I like that man. The roots. Is the greatest root of all time. We could have probably just say we probably could have just saved a lot of time. Just said it that, that at the beginning is the root pluralized the roots. It just makes sense. Could have saved everybody. Else. But you know what? I'm going for a tight forty-five, and we got a tight fifty-six. That ain't bad. No, beggars can't. Us, that's pretty darn good. I'll tell you what. Now we got another. We got another tight 45 coming up, am I right? Yeah, we got one more. All right. So stay tuned for the next 
episode of the Perpendicular Mouse. Thanks for joining us. Perpendicular Mouse. But don't go anywhere. Honestly, if potato had been a root, it probably would have won. It's a tuber. Like a YouTuber. Yeah, that's right.